All right, excuse the uh, dirty workbench here, but we are very busy in my shop at the moment. Um, this is regarding the questions about the connectors on the T-Mobile 4G router here. Uh, I, like many of us, wanted to hook up some external antennas, and I actually have a good soldering station whatnot. wasn't scared to put some pigtails on here, but I thought, hey, you know what? What if we can just connect to the connectors here? So, there's been different posts here on the forum, and there's been some pictures across the internet that keep saying that these are uh, MHF SW23. And as you can see in the forum post above uh, on ltehacks.com, I could not get my connector to connect to these onboard uh, ports here. In fact, these look smaller than the IPX samples. I have some samples from IPX here. IPEX. Anyways, because I'm working on a product that uses connectors, and I was trying to decide between the Muratas and these and a couple others for some different RF applications. So I don't actually... Apparently, I left home without grabbing the demo connector... Um from my post above. However, we've got some other stuff here that's the same anyway. If you look at these, these are uh, MHF SW23 connector that you would uh, place on your PCB. So these are, you know, just taken off of a tape reel. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to place them next to this connector here so you can see that they're not the same. And then I also have, looks like, let's see here, SW23 on PCB. Oh, this is interesting. So, one second, I gotta put my phone down to open the package. Sorry about the crude video, but this information is worth getting out there. So, apparently, inside of this package, because they just sent me kind of an assortment here, is. A SW23 to SMA splitter board of some sort. So I don't know if I haven't looked up with the data sheet on these, how it's split to two of these incoming outgoing. And then I'm guessing if you plug in your test port to the middle, it breaks the connection and then probably just uses your external antenna hooked to it. So I got that. Um, got a couple of those. And then I also have the, one second, I'm going to put the phone down again here. I have the SMA mail here to test point. So this is where you just push it on your PCB to do a test. Let's see if this will fit, actually. Let me take off the plastic protector here so let's let's focus on one of our ports here oh this is so hard to do with my phone recording video um, so just judging by the feel of it it doesn't feel and I know this is just push fit right but it doesn't even feel to be the right form factor so I don't think it's SW23 on the T-Mobile router here. Now, let's find out for sure, right? So we're actually going to take some of the, one of these out of the tape strip here and lay it on the PCB next to the one on the T-Mobile router there, right there, and we'll find out. So one second, let me open this package. Try not to lose these because I need them for my project. So here we go. We're just going to peel back the tape. These are labeled as MHF SW23 PCB connection. Oh boy, they've got tape on this and everything. One second, I'm going to put you on a kickstand here. There you go. You can stare at the edge of the board. While I get some tweezers to get one of these out, if I can find some tweezers. 
We are just coming off the holiday season here, so we are incredibly busy and backed up. But again, I thought this information was pretty valuable, especially, I don't know, if LTE Fix already pre-ordered some kind of pigtails for these 4G routers, they might want to cancel their order if this is indeed wrong. Um, not only that, but it looks like the 5G router has actual MHF connection spots inside of it that we could hack some antennas onto without doing any soldering at all. But, uh, sorry, it's taken me a second to get one of these out of the strip. Okay. God, these things are tiny. Okay. So here is the MHF SW23 connector directly from IPEX. I'm going to place it next to the one on the board here on the, the T-Mobile router. I'm going to refocus my camera. As you can see, they're quite a bit different. Um, yeah. Not even close. The diameter is wrong, which explains why I could not fit my uh, SW23 to SMA adapter onto the router. Uh, yeah, it's just a different diameter, different depth it looks like even. Of course, this, this one is not soldered here. So, you know, it might sit a little flatter. But yeah, completely different. This, I think this is a Murata connector or something else. I'm not sure if when you connect to this test point here, if it does switching to disable the current internal antenna to your external or not, or if it's just a test point. I would imagine it does because anybody who put a connector here, yeah, I mean, I can only imagine for, for development purposes that... Uh, it would be a switching one like this SW23. Yeah, look at the difference there. It's a major difference. I'm going to go ahead and cut this video, though, just so I can get it uploaded and you guys can see. Um, I was going to measure them and all that, but I don't even think there's a reason to now. If you look, I mean, the diameter is obviously way bigger on the SW23. All right. Have a good one, guys.